need more. Putting in citrulline, fermented BCAAs, fermented glutamine, and hydrocharge, the main ingredient in citrulline. I know I may sound repetitive, but very important to focus on your blood flow when you're in a pressurized cabin, just uh, so you don't get uh, jet lag. And obviously you're drinking plenty of hydrocharge, so you stay hydrated, but everybody here thinks I'm the right drug you. I am. This is the end of our journey. Well, he's saying I went on. She's got the connection to the US now, and she's probably got that one stuff to go into. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Landing, pumping, 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 Meetings all the day. Oh wow. Yeah, busy, busy. Oh, stuff. And lots of stuff. We're headed over to London just for a night because I'm an old man. I'm going to stuff my back a little bit for a run around like that in the weather. So thank you ever so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. It was your time. Have a safe journey. We're in London. We uh, departed from Ashley earlier. She continued to the US and we have got an overnight here in London. I have to break up my journeys so I can loosen up my back. I've got a severe curvature of my spine, which really does play up um, after lengthy flights and it's got very tight now. So I like to split it up, have a workout, move around and then have the second half of my journey if it exceeds like eight or nine hours. So we went straight to the hotel, had some food, spent the last couple of hours in this cafeteria here called the Borrow the Lista, uh, just so I could get on top of some editing and some emails. Had to do a little bit of contractual work uh, there as well. And now I'm gonna head back to the hotel, have another feed, let that settle, and then go out for a run. I, uh, we got a hotel right next to Hyde Park, because the 6.5K circle around there so I plan on doing that a couple of times uh, a little bit after just to start running again I've done a lot of biking sorry start that again I've done a lot of swimming while I was in India because there's pools in uh, the hotels and the rooftops so it's really nice want to take advantage of that obviously did the 100, 100 mile bike ride but that was pretty much it now I need to start getting into some running. Did a little bit of treadmill there, but nothing is like hitting the hard surface. And uh, I gotta start easing into it now and putting in some speed work and some mileage uh, to get ready for the ultra marathon that I've got going on in January, which is only a couple of months away. So uh, it'll be nice to get things moving after that long uh, airplane as well. And it'd be nice to get some blood back into his brain because I can't even think properly. Let's head on back to the hotel. But what I really like about the UK is that there's news agents everywhere. I always like to go in and see what magazines are on the shelves. Not the porno magazines at the top, of course. Because you can't reach, right? Well, I still want to look. I've got sunglasses on. No one knows where I'm not looking. But I uh, actually, maybe it's not even news agents. Uh, not a proper one, they've just got newspapers. I hate all that politics shit anyway. I don't want to know what's going on in the world. I want to have a look at some uh, publications of sports and stuff. Maybe not, but we will go to a bookshop later because Richard Branson's new book is out here and I want to get that. And Chrissy Wellington's book is out here and I want to get that too. This is crazy. These are some of my favorite bars when growing up. Well, this is my mum's favorite, the Bang Tea. This is dad's favorite, the, the Mars Bar. And now they've got me protein versions. That's uh, 200 calories, 192 calories. That's not bad. I don't know what it reads like, but that's not bad. Good on you, UK, for 
bringing up the protein can and even the flapjacks are higher protein than open balls. You'd never see this a few years ago in UK news agents. It's good to see that uh, times are changing. Oh, look at this. We've got Snickers protein as well. Jeez, oh my god, you've even got supplements here. Terrible supplements nonetheless, but it's not supplements. I'm able to pick up my coconut water, I'm able to get my my protein bars if I want to have a bit of a snack, a bit of a dessert if you will. I think it's good um, as long as it's a healthy brand because I've always felt like I've been discriminated against. You know, I'd come in here and I'd, I'd look at the sugar I could get. I'd get so many bloody chocolate and candy bars till the cows come home. But if I'm a health conscious individual, it's nothing there for me. And I've always felt as a form of discrimination against people who want to be healthy, who want to feed their carcass with something nutritious. There's nothing available. If you want to feed yourself with sugar or trans fats or any of the, anything that's kind of going to terrorize your body, hey, there's an abundance on every corner here. So it's good to see that there's a little bit of a change of regard and there's something supplied to the people that are a little bit more health conscious. Right, before I go out on my run here, I'm just strapping up my ankle. Every now and again, it's just out of nowhere, this ankle just starts hurting. There's no rhyme or reason behind it. I've uh, injured this ankle, or both of them, but I've injured this ankle quite badly in the past a few times. And uh, sometimes it doesn't actually take any sort of sprain or twist or any particular injury for it to flare up every now and again. So, uh, you know, I just got off the plane and as I was walking down the walkway, I could feel that something was odd, you know. So, um, just to keep it stabilized and make sure it doesn't get too inflamed. I'm just gonna tape it up here for a little bit of additional support for when I hit the run. into this place for the past couple of years and have walked out 
with nothing every single time because I'm a stickler. I need to have everything matching. If I cannot get the cap, the top, the coat, the pants, the shoes, I walk out. If one of those things aren't in my size or they don't match, I walk out. This time everything was in matching and everything was in my size. So I walk out fully handed. And with uh, a bill that's going to prompt my dad to message me and ask me what the hell am I doing blowing all this cash on this when I could easily go and get just as good stuff from Primark. <laughs> Back in Hyde Park again. It's uh, what day is it? Tuesday. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday morning. So we got our flight um, early this afternoon back to Boise, Idaho. We've got about 15 hours of travel, I think, in total. So it's very, very important for me to keep the body moving, keep the blood regulated, stay hydrated, obviously. Uh, because I'm going to be in a static position. I'm going to fucking cop it upright, upright cop it for uh, way too long. So uh, my back tends to jack up a little bit if I stay in a still position. Got to keep the body moving, keep it regulated and not missing a beat. Um, so I'm going to go for another run around Hyde Park. I want to take the opportunity anyway because it's so bloody beautiful here. I love fall and uh, yeah, take in the sights and the sounds before taking in a different culture of the Idahoans. All right, let's go for a little run too. So all the action's happening right now. I finished my run, and now I'm at the, I need to say that, I'm sure. Um, now I'm at the breakfast area, I'm waiting for my egg order, and my egg white to go on it. But when I first come in, it's a huge line, so I just filled my plate with food. Now the lines died down. Right, about to board our plane back to Boise and I've got a load of food here so I'm loading up on some, uh, we're in the lounge so I've got a buffet in front of me of cucumber, tomato, lettuce, a lot of beetroot that you can't hardly see here and I got some pepper and egg for frittata, frittata, frittata there as well and I'm about to go into a plane which will be a pressurized cabin so I've got my glutamine, my hypercharge, my citrulline that I'm going to start loading in now and uh, knowing that I can dehydrate a lot on these planes. So then when I land, hopefully I don't feel too bad. 